Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. In this video, I'm going to cover the common mistakes and problems that people encounter when using Corsair's IQ software. So let's go ahead and get started. A reoccurring problem that I see is mistaking the firmware update button for the software update button. So if you go into IQ settings, there are two update buttons. The button near the top left corner of the screen is a firmware update button specific to each device. The one at the bottom left of the screen is actually the correct button to press when you want to update IQ. Usually what happens is that someone will come to me and say, hey Alex, I'm trying to import your profile, but IQ keeps telling me it's from a new version of IQ, but I've already updated the software. But in reality, the person updated the firmware instead of the software. Because of the many messages I get regarding this issue, I'd say this is probably the number one mistake that IQ users make. Now I'm gonna talk about a mistake that applies to Corsair RGB RAM. If you're importing RGB profiles and you don't see any lighting on your RGB RAM, even when my website specifically says that the profile is made to support your RAM, then go into settings, select the RAM, and enable full software control, which will likely fix this issue. Your RAM should take full advantage of the custom RGB profile. Also, if your RAM isn't working with the RGB audio visualizer, which can be purchased in the link in the description below, following the steps I just mentioned will fix that problem as well. This next one goes out to those who own the K55 RGB keyboard. I often get complaints that my RGB profiles don't work on the K55 like the way they do in my videos. I see this issue a lot and it's honestly just a case of not doing enough research before purchasing a product. Basically what happens is that people buy the K55 because it's marketed as an affordable RGB keyboard and they assume that it will be able to perform the complex lighting effects as seen in my videos, only to be disappointed when I tell them that the K55 is only a three zone RGB keyboard with very bare bones customization. Some of you have asked me to remove the K55 as a supported device because of this problem. However, I will not be doing so because I technically do add support for it. Even with its very limited customization, I still include some basic color schemes on its three zones. Real quick, let's do a tutorial on how to use my RGB profiles website. Starting with how to check which devices each profile supports. My website allows you guys to download profiles very easily. All you have to do is hover over the image and press download. But if you press the view more button, a separate page opens up that shows you which devices the profile supports. You can also filter by specific devices simply by dropping down the device selection tab and selecting all of the devices you own then clicking inside the search bar and pressing enter. Now you can see exactly which profiles will support your entire setup. Finally, there's a page for community profile uploads where users can upload their own profile creations, making it really easy for people to browse RGB profiles all in one place. Now moving on to another frequent problem, which is like what happened with the K55 is due to lack of research before buying a product. Before you purchase an RGB keyboard, make sure that it's actually an RGB keyboard. Corsair does sell non-RGB keyboards, and these keyboards come at a more affordable price point due to the fact that they aren't RGB. What probably happens is that people see how low the price is and they purchase the keyboard without further thought. Then they try to import my RGB profiles only for the keyboard to not display anything. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering why my RGB profiles aren't working for your keyboard, chances are the keyboard you have isn't RGB. This next issue has to do with the Corsair SDK. If you're playing a game and suddenly IQ takes over your RGB peripherals and changes their colors without you wanting them to, all you have to do is go into your IQ settings and disable SDK. If you later decide that you want game integration RGB effects, you can always re-enable that option at any time. This option also needs to be enabled when third-party software such as Jacknet RGB Sync and RGB are used. I will include the links to these softwares in the description below so you guys can check them out and see how they can improve the user experience of your Corsair devices. If you own an Asus motherboard, you might have read online that IQ now supports Asus motherboards. If you're having trouble getting your Asus motherboard to show up in IQ, then it's most likely because you haven't installed Asus Aura. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. When Asus Aura is installed and SDK is enabled, your motherboard should show up inside IQ. Also, I just want to let you guys know that if you sort by Asus motherboards on my website, you'll find all the profiles that support Asus motherboards. I'm still working on going back to some of my older profiles to add support for a ton of devices, including Asus motherboards, so stay tuned for more updates here on my YouTube channel or on my Discord server, which will also be linked in the description below. If you're ever importing one profile after another and suddenly an error occurs that says selected file is not a valid profile or folder file and cannot be imported, you can fix this problem by restarting IQ and trying to import it again. I'm honestly not sure why this happens, but at this point, IQ is full of so many issues that I don't even know anymore. I can just offer solutions to a couple of them. This is the end of the video. If you guys enjoy the content that I'm providing to the community and you want to support the continued creation of RGB profiles and the maintenance of my website, you should check out my Patreon in the description below. Patreon is a platform where you can support your favorite creators and receive all sorts of cool exclusive packages and other fun perks in return. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be updated whenever I release a new video. See you guys next time.